Okay, express the force as a Cartesian vector. So here we have this F force of 500 newtons, and it's going off in the negative x, the negative y, and the positive z. Well, let's use the equation with uh, the uh, angles here. So if you remember, the cosine of alpha equals ax over a1 and the cosine of beta or gamma is equal to az over a. Okay, now, um, not like that one. So in our problem, we have the cosine of, okay, the angle from the x-axis, and we're gonna be doing the negative x, we'll account for that later. And so the cosine of 60 is equal to, in this case, we'll call it fx, because our force is f, not a. So fx over 500. And then cosine of gamma from the z, so cosine of 60 also, equals fz over 500. Those are the same, so fx equals fz equals, uh, let's not write quite that, fx equals 250 and Fz equals 250 also. But as we stated, x is in the negative direction. So we'll put it that way. Now F, uh, y we don't know. But we do know from the book the A equals, or we'll use F, F equals the square root of fx squared plus fy squared plus fz squared. And we know this is 500. And fx is negative 250. I'm going to put 250. If I put a negative out front, I'm sure to get it wrong. And the square root takes, the square takes care of that anyway. So plus fy squared plus 250 squared. And solving for Fy, we get Fy equals 354. Now we'll note that Fy is also in the negative direction. So writing out the vector F with components, we get negative 250 in the I minus 354 in the J plus 250 in the K.